Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley, also known as Ashworth Plays, and we are finally back with another episode from my Discover Uni Let's Play series. And initially for this episode, we were going to go on a cabin trip with the twins. However, I decided that I want to do a spin-off episode for Chastity instead. And I know that this has been highly anticipated. You guys have been wanting a day in the life of a model, but there's also another reason why we're doing a spin-off episode, and it's because while I was prepping for the cabin trip, I actually got some very shocking news pertaining to chastity and we need to we need to address the news first before we go on this trip and so i won't explicitly say what the news is but if you've been following me on my other socials or if you just looked at the thumbnail <laughs> You already know what the news is, but here's the thing, Chastity doesn't know yet. And so I'm thinking for today's episode, we're going to just do a day in the life as a part-time model slash student with Chastity. And then for storytelling purposes, we'll get to the shocking news towards the end of the episode. And so it's Friday morning. The last time we seen Chastity was at the Harvest Fest party in Oasis Springs, but now she's back in San Myshuno and she's currently working out. But after she's done working out, we're actually gonna head to Brychester and have her go to a coffee shop to study and also go to class. Then after class, Chastity has a photo shoot schedule at her modeling agency. So we'll take you to the agency. Then after the photo shoots, Chastity's parents as well as the twins' parents will be getting together to have dinner at a very nice, very bougie restaurant in the Spice Market District. And this is just to have Chastity's parents and Cameron's parents get to know each other more since the two of them have been dating for quite some time. And then after dinner, that's when we'll find out what the big news is and we'll just go from there <laughs> but before we get into this episode i want to quickly talk about chastity's aspiration and trade so if you didn't know she has a serial romantic aspiration <laughs> which is just so ironic it really is and then as for her traits chastity is romantic materialistic and outgoing and <laughs> I already knew this, but she prefers non-exclusive romantic relationships. I'm pretty sure this is because of her serial romantic aspiration. And as you can see right here, it says she does not want a child right now, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then she actually has a bonus trait from her aspiration. And this says alluring. Alluring sims are more successful at romance than others. And I just, yeah. Her aspiration, her traits just makes everything make so much sense. As for her milestone, she does have a few. So she has a first promotion milestone, I'm guessing from her modeling career. She also has a first woohoo milestone. I think this might be from Romeo. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> it could be for Gamera, it could be for Romeo. But she does have a ended a romantic relationship milestone with Romeo. I fell in love milestone with Cameron. Made a best friend milestone with Cameron. And then started a romantic relationship with Cameron. And then as for university, she is a Brychester student and she's currently pursuing a distinguished degree in communications and she is taking three classes this semester. However, she only needs to attend two classes for today. The first class is understanding statistical data, which is at 930. And then the second class is fakers tracking trust online, which is at 130. She's still working out, but she does have three buffs. The first one is braising breezes from lot traits. The fresh air really makes this a great place to work out. She has a happy buff from nicely decorated environments. And then she has another happy buff from pleasantly satisfied. That woohoo was something to remember. And this is from her in Cameron sleeping together at the Oasis Springs Harvest Fest party. But after she, oh, not her energy being low. I might cheat that. <laughs> I might cheat that, but um, when she gets done working out, we're gonna have her go downstairs, take a shower, and then head to Brychester. <sighs> Hello? <gasps> wait! Wait! Oh my gosh! Wait, y'all. Y'all. I got an idea. Okay, you know what? She's gonna keep working out. She's gonna keep working out. But I'm gonna have her talk to Moses. I have no idea why he's in San Shuno. Maybe he's in San Shuno for work if you don't know moses is in the tech career and he actually works at rainy day entertainment and the headquarters office for rainy day entertainment is in san my shuno it's in the uptown area so it kind of makes sense that moses is in san my shuno but i'm gonna have chastity talk to him and be like hey i think i remember you from last night's party so so oh. bon and gravy what is she doing oh, yes. oh my gosh okay <laughs> Let's check their first impressions. Oh no! Okay, so it looks like Chastity finds them to be pretentious. That's 
That's fair. Um, and then Moses' sentiment towards chastity is responsible. But I'm going to see if we can um, go into friendly catalog. Maybe gossip other sims. Ask about another sim. Or talk up another sim. Hmm. I'm thinking that Chastity might have peeped Moses talking to Camille at the party. So I'm going to have her ask about Camille with him. She's just going to be like, so I saw you talking to Camille. Uh -huh. But I don't want her to like be too forward yes. about it. I like Camille. She's pretty cool. Oh, he's heading downstairs, but it's okay. As long as we talk to him. Chastity's class starts in an hour. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot, you guys. We need to we need to have her take a shower. Okay, we'll use the restroom and then take a quick shower. And then we'll take her headphones off so they don't get wet in the shower. And then, of course, I'm going to show you guys her outfit because she looks good. She's eating. I have no idea how to pronounce the creator for this top, but I have all the details for this outfit listed in the community tab. So if you want to grab this outfit for yourself, it is there, but it is 925. Her class starts in five minutes. And so we're going to go ahead and head over to Brychester. Uh, <laughs> 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 So we made it to the cafe and we're on a coffee date with Camille and we're not on Frychester campus, but we're actually at the Foxbury Institute instead. But I currently have Chastity talking to Camille right now. She just ordered coffee and grabbed it. I just got her an espresso. So I'm gonna, oh my God. So I'm gonna have her drink it with desperation because she is tired. Homegirl is tired right now. <laughs> it looks like Gina's here. <laughs> Oh, and um, Camille's feeling flirty because of chastity. <laughs> oh my gosh. But before I have the girls work on their homework together, I'm actually going to have chastity um, tell Camille that she saw Moses at the gym earlier. <laughs> and I think this will be perfect because I think Camille would talk to her like, hey, at that Harvest Fest party, Moses sort of hit on me and I don't know what to do. Ask for blessing the mayor, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, I definitely see Camille asking for advice from Chastity, which probably isn't the best thing to do because knowing Chastity, she's gonna tell her to go for it, 100%. Chastity's gonna tell her to hook up with Moses. <laughs> She is not the best influence, but I do not care. So yeah, we're doing it. I'm going to have her convince Camille to hook up with Moses. And she's just like, it doesn't have to be something serious. Like, girl, you're you're grown now. Like, you're a young adult. You can decide if you want to do it or not. That's what she said. Moses sounds like a cash. I'll introduce myself when I see him. All right, y'all. We'll see how it goes. Oh, yes. Blows it, blows it, blows it. Um, blah, dar, Chastity has learned the following for uh -huh. about Camille. She likes athletic yes. wear. Okay, I'm going to stop controlling <laughs> Camille now. And we're going to have her work on her homework with Camille. And she's still tired, y'all, even after the coffee. I'm going to have to cheat this. Yeah, we're just going to cheat that. Where's Camille going? Ah. Yo, Rafi's here! <laughs> if she has time, we'll talk to Rafi. But she probably won't because after class, I need her to head straight to her modeling agency. She's so cute, y'all. Alright, looks like she finished her homework and she's heading to class. Chastely turned in her homework confidently that class and squeezed every bit of knowledge she could out of it. That kind of effort will surely be a great help to her final grade in that course. All right, she's starving. So we're going to have her eat lunch real quick before she heads to the agency. Not her only having a level one skill. That's fine. We'll just have a garden salad. Alright, 
we're gonna have her clean that up and then head over to the agency now. We made it to Chastity's modeling agency. This is the Curve Agency, and this lot is actually made by one of my good friends in Mutuals. I'll have their information on the screen for you guys, but you should definitely check this lot out. Now I'm going to introduce you guys to the sims that are going to be working on this photo shoot. So the first sim is Melanie Ariaga. She is a freelance fashion photographer and she is a pre-made sim made by Maxis for the Moschino stuff pack. But she will be the sim taking Chastity's photos for today. And then we have Izzy Fabulous and Izzy is a one star celebrity that is a stylist and he is a pre-made sim that comes with Get Famous but he came to Samurai Shuno for work but he is going to be helping out with this photo shoot and he will be styling chastity and i am going to be controlling izzy and melanie for the photo shoots but let me give you guys a quick look of the agency first so here's the first floor we have like a main lobby area and then some workspace we have the bathrooms over here and then some outdoor seating it is so nice and then on the second floor we have a cafe here's what it looks like super nice and then we have like a um I guess like a conference room and then I added a small little studio for photo shoots and I do want to point out that if you want the freelance fashion photographer career you do have to have the Moschino stuff pack in order to have your sub in his career and currently Melanie has a gig and this gig is called fun and flirty and so we need to have chastity take a few pictures in a flirty pose and I'm thinking we do like a simple basics lingerie photo shoots like think airy think like simple everyday like bra and panties so we're gonna go for that vibe with chastity so i'm gonna have melanie talk to chastity and we're gonna do a friendly introduction with her first i <laughs> <laughs> have first impressions Leave how fun to be around <laughs> Oh, they both got the same first impression, period. Okay, well, so it's already six o'clock and we still have to go to dinner tonight. <laughs> so I don't want to rush this, but at the same time, we do need to put a little pet to our step. So we're going to have Izzy offer an outfit to Chastity and we're going to do a sleep outfit. Uh -huh. Alright y'all, so here's the first look. Now we're gonna have Chastity come in here and wait for Melanie and have Melanie take pictures of her. Cute. <laughs> oh, this one's adorable. I love this one. These photos are looking great so you have an incredible eye for style <laughs> so we have chastity done with her photo shoots and i was gonna have melanie send copies of the photos to chastity but she's not able to drag these photos out of her inventory which sucks because i really wanted these dang i really wanted chastity to have these pictures but it's okay perfect timing we got done around 8 p.m and i was anticipating on chastity heading over to dinner so what we're gonna do is have her change say bye to melanie and izzy and then head back to her place to get ready for dinner <laughs> so not her finding izzy attractive girl y'all are on the same team <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> newbie, newbie. <laughs> oh, woo! What a fun way to end off the photo shoots. Alright, it's getting late. We're, we're heading over to her place now. 
You know what? Her needs are not that bad. <laughs> They're not that bad. We're just gonna have her um, use the restroom and then take another quick shower. Oh, but before she does that, I do want Cameron to come pick her up. So we'll have him come over and then she'll take that shower. Oh no, Cameron's here. Ooh, not a bean. <laughs> not a bean on 30. Okay, we really need to have her change and head to the restaurant. Bobani? Why did y'all go outside? Oh, nah, boy. Why did y'all do that? Oh, now she's feeling flirty. Floy mm -hmm. Oh my oh, gosh, y'all. I'm so tired of that. Oh. Ask what happens. Shabini Janib. Yibs. Hello? Oh my god. Girl, come in here and change real quick. Ninja Fibna. Oh. Oh. They're so cute, but here's Chassie's outfit for tonight. Super cute. The dress is by Sifix. Um, but we're gonna head over to the restaurant now. So we finally made it to dinner and this is the Golden Spice restaurant made by Rhea. I have the information on the screen for you guys. But as I said before, Chastity's family and the twins family came together for dinner courtesy of Elijah Green, Chastity's dad. But speaking of Elijah, let me introduce you guys to the Greens. So this is Elijah and Jody Green. I know you guys met them last episode, but I want to give a proper introduction to these two. So Elijah Green, is a well-known lawyer in San Marcino and Jody Green is a retired model and so that is why Chastity is a part-time model. She's just following her mother's footsteps and they actually don't live in San Marcino. They live in Newcrest which I believe is like the suburbs of San Marcino. It's only maybe like 30 or so minutes away so they came to the city instead to grab dinner with everybody. And I'm gonna go ahead and have Elijah order for the table. And what do you know? The River Blossom is the chef's choice. So we're gonna grab that for everybody except Cadence. And <laughs> technically Chastity shouldn't be drinking this either, but homegirl don't know. She don't know she's not supposed to be drinking it. We're gonna move on to entrees. And I think we're gonna get the caviar for Jody because she is very much bougie. She's definitely gonna be getting that. And I want to get this new recipe. Um, this is by Ice Mun Mun. Um, it's the filet mignon. And I want to grab that for Cameron, Chastity, and Danny. Since Elijah is paying for the meal, he's getting the most expensive item on the menu. And that is the Wagyu steak. We're going to grab the seafood skewers for Cadence. Miss Monica is going to get the Caprice open sandwich. And I think we'll get the baked lobster tail for Camille. And then for Cadence's beverage, I think I put lemonade on here for her. So we'll grab that for her. 549 simoleons, y'all. <laughs> I'm not even phased by this because Mr. Elijah got the bill. But while we have Chastity here, I want her to talk to Miss Monica. It looks like she's talking with Jody and they're getting along pretty well. So that that has to be a positive. But we're going to give her a heartfelt compliment. Oh, no, 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 not Elijah, not Elijah. Chastity will do that. Oh, gosh, that would have been so awkward if Elijah had done that. And as you can see here, the relationship meter is not that great. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, But I'm hoping that this dinner will kind of help between them. Let's ask about work. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't be talking about work at dinner. We're definitely not doing that. You should oh, no, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I tried to ask her, but she went straight to Jody. It's fine. You know, we'll talk to Cadence. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need to be on her good side too. She's so pretty, y'all. <gasps> There's no way. Y'all, she got a flirty buff from Danny. 
from talking to an attractive sim. Are you serious? Chastity, girl, your man is right here. Oh, I got so scared, y'all. I got so scared. I thought I thought this was a pop up from Danny. Our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Can I move in with you? Um, Camille, girl, you literally live in a dorm. How is this gonna work? But I mean, considering Chastity's situation, this just actually might happen in the future, in the very near future. So I don't want to say this because I think they'll get a bad sentiment from it. But the fact that Camille wants to live with Chastity. It's very telling. It's very telling because we just might be doing this in the near future. <laughs> After much deliberation, Chastity doesn't want Camille to move in with her right now. And then let's just get rid of that sentiment they might have because literally like, I it's so annoying. <laughs> Look how cute she is. <laughs> Gorsh, Oh, our food's here. <laughs> Oh, what's the best? Dang, Chastity! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, Chastity must have been hungry. Homegirl done ate her food in seconds. The fact that everybody ate their food within seconds. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. No, it will have her catch up with Camille. Small talk. Ask about her day. Alright, looks like everyone's done. So I'm gonna have Elijah in the mill and pay Bill. But of course, you already know Chastity is taking Cameron home with her. Actually, before we have Elijah do that, let me have her give him a hug and thank him for paying for the meal for everybody tonight. No. <laughs> you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to have Elijah talk to Cameron because even though Chastity might not be on good terms with Monica, Elijah loves him some Cameron. Let's talk about fine cuisine with him real quickly. Oh, y'all, Aaron's here, but he's by himself. I wonder where Jasmine is. Alright, Cameron's feeling very flirty. Let's listen to Bill. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna stop controlling him. <laughs> the restaurant hopes you enjoyed your meal. Some millions have been automatically deducted from the household funds. All right, time to head home now. All right, we made it home, and it's 5:30 in the morning. <laughs> It's 5.30 and the twins plus Chastity and a bunch of their friends are actually supposed to be heading to Granite Falls today to go on a cabin trip. And so I plan on doing that next episode because they will be there like all day today and then all day tomorrow. But I'm gonna have um, Chastity flirt with Cameron because she actually got a souvenir from her photo shoot. <laughs> She got it. <laughs> Girl, no, we're not doing that. For once, I'm actually letting y'all hunch. Like, let me get there. Um, let me see if I can have her change real quickly. All right, I, I got the outfit out. So she was actually able to keep the pieces that she had modeled today at the photo shoot. And she wants to show Cameron. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> Girl, get up and show him. It's six o'clock in the morning. I guess it don't matter if they use protection or not, huh? <laughs> Little does he know. <laughs> That's not gonna help at all. <laughs> what y'all got going on down there? <laughs> <laughs> They're always so 
loud. Where is she going? Girl, we're not doing homework. Oh. <laughs> that camera being the little spoon, that is actually really cute. He's like never the little spoon. <laughs> it looks like Chastity is feeling nauseous. And it says here, oh uh oh, those stomach gurgles don't sound good. So what we're actually gonna have her do is wake up. And she's feeling very uncomfortable, y'all. And we're gonna have her um, take care of that. Oh gosh! Hun, I need you to clean that real quickly. <laughs> I did not expect it to get dirty like that. Okay, so while Chastity's cleaning, she has a few thoughts running in her mind and she's wondering, oh, why did I feel nauseous? Like, was it from what I ate last night? Or is it from something else? And so she gonna, she gonna go in her little cabinet right here and grab something real quickly. And um, <laughs> she gonna take this pregnancy test. <laughs> Oh, dang, I can't see the animation because of the pixels. Oh, no, me? Oh. <laughs> Yo. Jazzy's pre- Girl, not her trying to go straight for homework. Hun, you just found it. You're pregnant. <laughs> Jazzy's pregnant, y'all. <laughs> she needs to tell camera the news. <laughs> And like I said before, she does not want to have a child right now. Because of that, she's feeling very tense. And the tense buff reads, unwanted child on the way. Chastity did not expect to have a child and is really not sure that she wants it at all. But it's happening. What should she do? I don't know, girl. That's a great question. What should you do? I'm going to have her brush her teeth. And I'm going to have her change. And we're going to have to tell Cameron the news. You know, look at her belly. Oh my gosh. Homegirl's actually pregnant. Is she sad? She is not ready from this from pregnancy. Sometimes the torturous nature of being pregnant at a time when you don't want a child hits you like a train. You know what? Where's her homework? Where's her homework? Hello? Hey Chastity, it's me Cameron. Love is in the air, don't you think? We should take this opportunity to go on a date. Cameron, you're literally sleeping right now. How is this even possible? <laughs> All right, let's wake Cameron up because we need to we need to tell him the news. Oh gosh, <laughs> this homework! Oh my gosh, y'all! I'm so over it. Let's kiss him on the cheek first. Let's just let's just slowly go into it. I don't want her to just drop the news on him. <laughs> oh, but she's really tense. In her little belly showing, it's pretty obvious. Oh gosh. Share the news. Just do it, girl. Actually, let me have them come in here. The lighting is a lot better in here. Quaba. Oops. Narba. Oh. 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 Not Cameron have an attitude. Garsha. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, y'all. No, you cry. Oh, bad? <laughs> Not them both being tits. Guma, If you didn't know, Cameron doesn't want a child either. <laughs> Let's check what buff he got. An unwanted child on the way. What will Cameron and his partner do? They did not plan to have a baby and they don't want this pregnancy to be. <laughs> but it's a little late to think that way now. I mean, what did y'all expect? Like, let's be so for real right now. <laughs> I will say though, I I made sure that they were using protection every time they would hoot. Like, I was on top of it. Especially after like the several pregnancy scares in high school years. Like, I've always just been on top of them using protection. <laughs> Why oh, is he crying? Oh. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way this baby got in that tent, y'all. Cameron. There's no way he just pulled out the 
blunt. Cameron, it's not that serious. I promise you, it is not that serious. Y'all, he literally put on a... There's no way he just did that. Cameron, it's not that... I mean, it is a big deal. It is. Girl! <laughs> Y'all. They can't have this baby. I'm sorry. They cannot have this baby. Like, Cameron's over here smoking. <laughs> She's over here stress eating. Like, there's just no way they can have this baby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what is she about to do? Flirt with him? Oh, that's cute. Sheer dismay. Chastity's partner fully understood how distraught she is at the news of this pregnancy because they feel the exact same way. It helps Chastity not feel alone in this experience. Y'all, he just keeps smoking. Cameron, please put the blunt down. Like, please put it down. Baby, stop. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Okay, y'all. We got to end the episode. We got to end the episode. We got to talk about it. We have to talk about in the comments what we're doing with the baby. <laughs> because I already kind of expected us not keeping it. I'm, I'm going to be so real with y'all. I was not expecting us to keep this baby. <laughs> and after Cameron and Jesse's reaction, <laughs> I'm, I'm like 100% sure. But... I know so many of you guys do want them to keep the baby, and I listen. I'm I'm all, I'm down for whatever y'all want. I I am. I really am. But if we're looking at this from Cameron and Chastity's perspective, I don't know if they're ready, y'all. But um, yeah, y'all just let me know what we should do in the comments. I'm gonna give it until the cabin trip. So they go to the cabin trip, hang out with their friends. I guess everyone's gonna see Chastity's little baby bump. And then after the cabin trip, we'll make the final verdict on whether or not we want Chastity and Cameron to keep the baby. But yeah, just let me know in the comments what you guys think we should do. But we're gonna end today's episode off right here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment. I'd very much appreciate it. Please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of Discover Uni Let's Play series. This time we'll actually go on the cabin trip and I'll see you guys in my next video.